Hello and welcome back to um, to my channel. Um, today I'll be talking about my op my open box setup. Now, for those of you that may or may not know, um, according to the Arch Wiki here, open box is a lightweight, powerful, and highly configurable stacking window manager with extensive standard support standard support it may be built upon and run independently as the basis of a unique desktop environment or within other integrated desktop environments such as KDE and XFCE as an alternative to the window managers they provide the LXDE desktop environment by its it, environment is itself built around open box oh very interesting so open box is not a full desktop environment I guess it's just a window manager um, when you first log into it I can attest that it gives you a blank screen with just a mouse and that's it and you gotta build everything else up from the ground up it is literally what you make of it which I would I think uh, like that, that's kind of keeping up with the the whole arch philosophy of like you build it yourself now for those of you that don't know I normally use um, i3 tiling window manager um, however I decided I was getting bored with i3 so um, I still use it I still have i3 as my main desktop environment or my, na my main window manager However, I decided to try to play around with open box. Just to see what I could do with it. This is just to play around with it. And um, by the way, I'm by no means an expert in either of those. Um, I don't even I don't know even know where to draw the line between a window manager and a desktop environment. And maybe someone in the comment sections can once and for all to draw that line. But I don't know where it is. Um, Without further ado, we'll go into we'll go into my setup here. Um, this right here is it doesn't look like it now, but this is the tint two um, the tint two panel, and um, I customized it quite a bit. I made it transparent. Um, <coughs> the system tray over here I got rid of the um, what's it called the uh, taskbar and I put the clock in the middle these are both free space um, over here I have a few shortcuts um, the terminal Thunderbird water Fox chromium over here I have this is called a JG menu and what this is is it's basically a start menu where you can drop down and it'll give you a list of all your applications you could even search for what whatever it is you're looking for um so yeah it's transparent and um that doesn't work with every wallpaper so I might change that if I decide to change my change my wallpaper um yeah just be careful with the transparent stuff because you might end up making it so nothing is visible however with this wallpaper here I find that this works pretty well for me um, down here I have the plank dock and um, over here I have the XFCE application finder so it's pretty much the closest thing I could get to to have an, an application menu like what you have at Mac OS 10 um, there might be a better launcher than this but for now, this, until I find that better launcher, that's what I'm going to use for it. Um, I use Sakura as my terminal of choice. Um, simply because it, it's um, transparent by default. I think it's pretty nice. Um, the PC Man FM File Manager. Mouse Pad Text Editor. VLC. I got Chromium. Water Fox. Caprine that comes in handy when it's basically a, a Facebook Messenger app. Um, I've been trying to get off of Facebook more and more 
but there are a few people that I need to be able to talk to. Anyway, I got Thunderbird, the trash, and OBS that is running. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty, um, pretty simple setup. Oh, I do have Rofi set up to work when I hit, um, the Windows key plus R will launch up Rofi, another applications menu. And I have set up Windows key shift W will get you this, which it, it just runs it in a terminal, the suckless terminal, or ST for short. And I have it set to, um, automatically display my weather the weather forecast for where I live West Springfield Mass um, and um, that's pretty much it I brought I brought a few things over from my i3 that I, that I like to use in i3 and brought it to my use here in open box um, so what are my thoughts on open box? <clears throat> I think that open box is a tremendously customizable desktop and window manager. Sorry, excuse me. Um, my only complaint about it is that every single time I log into it, I get zero work done because I always find myself tweaking something or changing something and I just can't help myself from doing that and so I mean I guess that's a good problem to have right <laughs> and I have to give it credit where it's due it's a very very highly customizable and so far it's been very stable for me as well um, And, um, yeah, uh, the other thing is that, um, if you go to the Arch Wiki, there are actually a lot of graphical applications that can be used to help you to use OpenBox or to customize it. So what, what that means is that you're not stuck just editing you know config files all over the place right there's XML files over here you gotta know how to write an XML to get this working i3 a config file I'm not even sure what programming language that's in if it isn't any but it's very it's, it's legible enough um, XML not so much at least not for me um, so if you go down here in the arch wiki there's a list of possible graphical um, several GUI applications are available to quickly and easily configure your open box desktop and and I, I use a good majority of these you know obconf Alex appearance um, I just use regular A A R A R Rand Randar. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, I haven't tried this one yet. And I haven't tried this one yet either. But I will get around to that and see what they're what they're available, what they can do. Um, so I mean, yeah. Um, for those that were afraid that, oh no, open box could text-based config files nope you don't gotta know you can use these to get it done and so with that I give open box a lot of credit they've come they've um they go out of their way to make it very easy especially for a non programmer like myself who I don't know like you know I don't know any code at all if if anything is very 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 sim simple basic um, 
yeah um thumbs up for open box very clean very neat and this is my setup for now I might tweak tweak it some more I might get it get a, a different <laughs> layout than this um but yeah um, if you like this video please um like and subscribe comment down below your thoughts um and I'll hopefully see you later today or tomorrow. I will be um, looking at Ubuntu Budgie. And um, I will record what I what I find. And um, it'll be it'll be neat. It'll be neat. That's part of the, the Biddle challenge. And I like to record by my um like what I find as I find it my reactions to it I find that to be very very productive like almost like a journal so um with that being said um I think I'll end it here um I hope you've enjoyed my open box setup um I've been enjoying it I have been um a few a few complaints. I wish I could get Plank on both monitors, but um, can't even do that on Mac. So why should I be surprised? Um, and I wish that I could somehow get a weather icon in the bar itself. I got the keyboard shortcut, and that and yeah, that works for me. But yeah, I tried for like an eternity to try to figure out how to get the weather app to work in the bar. And all I can get was a button, but that, that looked ugly out of place, so I got rid of it. Um, but yeah, um, other than that, I think that open, and that's probably my own stupidity, right? I think it's just probably right under my nose and I'm just not seeing it. But, you know, I'm not going to blame open box for that. Um, that being said, it's very, very customizable. It is what you make it. It open box is what you make it, and you can literally make it look like anything. Um. So, with that being said, I think I'll end it here. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.